Tonight we have Papa John's pizza and this is a pepperoni. This is banana peppers, which looks absolutely amazing. And cheese sticks. Yum. Oh, and extra garlic sauce. Extra garlic sauce. Kevin and I have a box here from Pamela in Indiana. And it says Paris is always a good idea on the top of her paper. I've seen that, the same thing with London. London is always a good mm -hmm. idea. It says, Tammy, these chips were in our local grocery store, Beesler's Market. I searched your channel and didn't, and don't think you've have seen these yet. This store always has some unique grocery items. Hope you enjoy, Steve and Pam. Beesler's? Yeah, I've never heard of, mm -hmm. of Oh, okay, Beesler's Market. It's Is that how you say it, or Beesler's? Would you say with an at? B B A E Basler, because Beesler would be like B E E, so it but maybe Basler's Market. Well, they sound interesting. Outstanding foods. They're called Pig Out, Pigless Bacon Chips. This is uh, Chipotle, and there's cheddar. Um, what do you see in that? Kansas City, Kansas City barbecue. barbecue and the original. Oh, these are awesome. I have never seen these before. Pigless bacon is tasty as hell. Is that what it says? <laughs> that's what that says. Yeah, that's what it says in here. Yeah, that's, they're plant based. Yeah. Hmm. That is so cool. I'm trying to that's see an address of where they're made because I've never heard of them before. We you know, you, I wouldn't be able to see it. I know, that's, let's see. Maybe it's on the, the inside of the bag. And you know they have to have a, an address on there where they're made. Well, they're pigoutchips.com. Well, I'll just go to their website, pig out. But you would think they, all places have an address on there, but I swear I do not see any address. Because I like to tell you all, oh, these are made in Colorado or, you know, wherever. Um, I swear I do not see any address on here. You know what the number one ingredient in this one is at least? Yeah. Mushroom. Mushrooms, mushrooms, sunflower, mushrooms, safflower, safflower, and sunflower. And, and or, yeah, this one too. Huh. And so it's mushrooms. One. So it's mushrooms. That's a dry That is so cool. Thank you very much. I have never seen these before mm -hmm. and I can't wait to try them. So Kevin and I are having a another Screaming Sicilian pizza. This is another Bessie's Revenge. You're probably getting tired of seeing pizza on my channel. Uh, but it just came out of the oven and Kevin's going to cut it. I, um, uh, you did a good job of splitting the cheese. I was going to ask you did because excellent job. Kevin was playing a game with Andrew on the computer while I was in here getting the pizza ready. And so I had to distribute the cheese, the big pieces of mozzarella. What are you and Andrew playing? Division two. Division two. So yeah, I think they've been playing that for a while, but it looks really good. We have been spending the day in Lexington. We started off going to Ollie's, and you know I wasn't going to film in Ollie's because they don't like it. Um, but uh, we went in Ollie's, and then we went in Home Goods, and then we went in Kohl's. Total wine. Kohl's. Um, yeah. Kohl's, and then we went in Target, and now we're going to Culver's. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it says Total Wine. There's a new store that opened. I think it says Total Wine. Total Wine? No. Wonder if they have different kinds of uh, food or something in there. Wine. Huh. It's backwards, so I can't really we see might, it. We might have to go in there before we... Uh... The wine store. I have no desire to go in there. Yeah, but uh, you know that alcohol place across the street? Uh, what's it called? They have uh, a special... Liquor yeah, Liquor Barn. They have uh, special candy bars and That's all true. kinds of food. Yeah, there it is. See, it's backwards. Total Wine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can go over there. Yeah, we might go over there and we'll see if they have any weird food, different food, um, stuff that we don't see anywhere else because um, we don't mind p other people drinking, but we don't drink. Um, I wanted to tell you all, we started a show on Netflix and only the first season's out, Dead to Me, and it has Christina Applegate in it and it is an adult show, so, you know, if you get offended, you about things then you won't want to watch it but it's really good so far and it's only half hour episodes and we've watched what three or four three four 
four, I think. So, um, but yeah, it's really good. But Christina Applegate, when I hear her voice, when I hear her talk, she reminds me very, very much of Jennifer Aniston. Their voices sound very similar to me, and you wouldn't think so, but if you watch that show and you hear her talk, pay attention, because I really think she sounds a lot like Jennifer Aniston. It looks like they have uh, some special uh, chicken BLT, yeah, Kevin. Chicken BLT on a pretzel roll. Have you, you've never had that before, have you? No, probably not. Kevin ought to do a lunchtime review here and, mm -hmm. and get something different. The concrete mixer of the day was chocolate strawberry? Chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah, chocolate covered strawberry. So. But I haven't filmed anything. It, it's been very, very busy in the places that we've been. Ollie's wasn't busy, but of course I can't film in there. Um, but then Home Goods, honestly, Home Goods didn't, they just didn't have anything that was no, worth filming. The food area was pretty lively. Yeah, I mean, we got some things, but we didn't get a lot, so I'll let you listen to Kevin order. I mean, I just need uh, two regular fries and a medium diet root beer light on the ice. Anything? No, that's it. So now you know we're just getting french fries. I bet they don't give me light on the ice because she didn't type it in. So here was the store we went in. It's called Total Wine, Spirits, Beer, and More. So we were hoping when we went in, or at least I was hoping, that they would have a lot of different things like Liquor Barn. Well, when you go in Liquor Barn, they have aisles of food. A whole aisle of candy bars. Yeah, they have a whole aisle of candy bars you can go to. In this place, I liked it. It was nice and neat and clean and everything, but it was very little and more. It was <laughs> mostly glasses and stuff. Yeah, when they said and more, I think they meant like stemware and things. Um, but uh, they had food. It was a very, very, very little food, and it wasn't like in its own dedicated aisle. Like they might have beer and then they might have a, a container of pretzels sitting there it, so i mean in the candy bars they did have some candy bars but the candy bars were only at the checkout so they didn't have very many at all so honestly it, it's a nice place if you if you drink wine and things like that but we won't go back in there it it just um, they just didn't have um, enough of anything that we were interested in even though it's a really nice clean store um, so right now we're gonna go in Meyer and uh, see if they have a couple of things that I'm looking for and then we're gonna go in Walmart and then we're gonna head back home and hopefully it doesn't rain because it looks like I think it's just supposed to be overcast all day long today yeah I didn't see where it's supposed to rain it's in what the 60s yeah. It's nice. 66, it's it's a nice temperature outside, but it's just really it's just really ugly. Okay, we're horrible people. I'm a horrible person. We well, went, I figured out that Jack Skellington was one of them. And now we, look, I don't have to have my phone. I can look at this. We went in Coles, and Coles had these Disney um, Lego minifigures, and we bought six of these for Gavin for Christmas because we put them in his stocking, and we'll buy them all year long. And and I didn't know who all came in the set. So these are the ones that you can get. You can get uh, Mickey, Minnie, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and then the uh, Scrooge, right? Scrooge, yeah. And then they have Chip and Dale, and then they have uh, Anna and Elsa, and this is from oh, Aladdin. Who is it? Um, Jafar. There you go. <laughs> and then um, Jasmine, and then is it Hades? Yes. And then, is that Hercules? I guess it has to be. Yeah, that's Hercules. And then yeah, I mean, the Sally and Jack, and I do not know her Edna. name. Edna, Edna and Mr. Freeze or something? I don't know that's, his name. Uh, Frozone. Why okay. do have a thing next to his face? I don't know. But, Ander said, I bet you didn't know they had Jack and Sally, or you would want them. Well, Andrew is expert at filling these packages. And I wonder if these have a special number on them, an item number. These because are it's a code. Because I wonder now if you, because it says item number, I wonder if they're all different. And Andrew uh, 
Andrew found Jack, long story short. So I opened it because if I give that to Gavin, he will not give it back. So do you want me to check the other three and see if you got Sally? Sally. So Andrew knew. Andrew's just very, very good at filling these packages. I did and that. I he did thinks that. With, that, I did that with uh, Christmas presents. Too. Yeah, he does do that with Christmas. Um, he felt one and he thinks it's the uh, Scrooge I'm guy. I'm almost positive it's Scrooge. Because he fills that top hat in it. But the only reason he knew Jack. The other ones want either Chip or Dale. The, uh, what gave Jack away was he felt this box. Mm -hmm. And none of the other ones have that box. And uh, so that's what gave that away. Oh my goodness. So guess what? I'm just, I'll buy, I'll find Gavin another one. Um, I'm just, he's we'll got, he them. came with four of these little snowflakes, but they're, they all don't fit in the box. So. Yeah, we'll definitely, I mean, look, uh, there you go. we'll definitely be buying more. Um, we think. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll set that on my bookshelf. But I'll definitely be buying more for Gavin. So if I get another one, I mean, I'll try to get him another one. And I'll try to fill around for a box. We need to take Andrew to the store with us so that he can um, fill these because he's so good at it. Because Kevin's just not as good at it as Andrew is. Andrew, though, Andrew actually works with these and puts them together. And Kevin doesn't. Um, what is the? Oh, it tells you exactly how to put it together. Legs. See, this is how he does that's it. That's legs, that's body. I'm moving them all to the other side of the package when I find something. So he tries to fill a oh, distinct that's a, piece. That's, a, that's the book. That's the bottom. So now I've got the final pieces at the... And now he can look to see what might, that's, what he might be. It seems like you could fill her a snowflake if you... This is Scrooge. Scrooge? It's got a top head in it. Okay, so we got two Scrooges. Well, you had to. <laughs> but they had these at Kohl's, and they also had them in the checkout lane at Target. They probably had them in the toy department at Target, but right. we didn't. Um, we didn't look through the toys really. I've got the top of his little, that little black piece right here. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I've got in my hand. Yeah, there's a giant head down here. So I think you've got. You might have both of those. You might have Chip and Dale. That would be nice. I'm trying to see if Sally's one of them, but the only way I'm going to find her is if I find her hair. How will you know that? Oh, I guess because they have braids. This is, uh, this is Frozone. Frozone? Well, Gavin, I like that one. Eh? This circular yeah. base, base right here, and he's the only one standing on a circular base, and it's actually got two pegs for his feet. See, Andrew's so, good at picking out the so this, differences. So this is Frozone. You could have had that. All you got to do is, you know, but if you have this cheat sheet, yeah. then they each have unique items yeah. that they're holding. So right. if you're looking for an exact one, and you, you just have to feel for it. Feel for that item, and then take it. They all feel the same to me. So, I mean, I found the box, and there's... Proof. So you think I could open every one of these and they'd be right on every one. So of them. you think we have two Scrooges? I think you have two Scrooges, two Chip and Dale's. Two, might, might be. I know you have him for sure. Mm -hmm, that's, that's Chip. chip. That's yeah. Chip. Yeah. Because. Damn. <laughs> and you definitely have Frozone, two Scrooges, and then two either two Chips or Chip and Dale. We opened. Ashley just I walked in. We, we we opened it because Andrew found <laughs> Because I'm a horrible I person, felt it out. and when I find Sally, I'll keep her too. But, but I'm Sally, gonna buy if, more you, if for you want, Gavin. if you want Sally, you'll probably have to feel for the rose. I'll buy more for Gavin. And you'll have to, you could feel for that. That's a huge ice piece. If you wanted Elsa, she's got a lantern that would be easy to feel for. I did not know this, and maybe some of you all did. Um, we were had we have been clipping box tops and i've still recently clipped box tops off things like my nature valley bars i've just took a box top off the nature valley bars but apparently there have been some things i've seen that have not had box tops on them and i've wondered why don't they have box tops well um it says no more clipping uh, you scan your receipt and so I guess I told Kevin, I said that that actually sounds really cool because that would mean that um, that would mean that everything on your receipt that you bought that would normally have a box top, I guess it's it's counting them um, because I thought maybe some products had decided not to do the program anymore or something like that. And they haven't. It's just that you can you can now 
scan your box top or uh, scan your receipt. What are you doing? I can go. Yeah, you can keep going. Kevin is doing the uh, what's that called? The scaler yeah. on the the Keurig. <clears throat> We hadn't done it in a while, and it needed to be uh, needed to be done. Um, we binge watched uh, Dead to Me. Is that the name of it? Mm -hmm. Dead to Me. We finished watching it last night. We watched. Uh, what well, are there ten episodes? Ten. We basically watched all ten. It was right. so so good. Now I told you it's an adult show, so her favorite word is the F word. She says it in every sentence. Uh, literally, she says it all the time. Um, so you have to know that there is some drug use. It's it's just an adult show. So and it's not a lot of drug use. They, there was drug use like one time. Um, but you know, mature situations, all that stuff. So uh, you have to know that. But it it's really a good show, and it kind of. Um, it's kind of, if you've watched The Big Little Lies, if you've ever watched that show with Nicole Kidman, it would kind of remind you of that type of show. So, uh, so it's really good. So, but I'm gonna show you some uh, clothes that I bought yesterday. So first I'm gonna show you uh, what Ashley got. Ashley, we were in Target, and Ashley was looking in the women's department for T-shirts. She said, I want some T-shirts to wear to CrossFit. And um, I said, well, I am in the men's department um, because Kevin was looking at shirts. I said, I'm in the men's department and there's some really cool t-shirts in the men's department. So she came back there and she ended up uh, finding three shirts that she liked. And these were, um, they were four, they were $12.99. Two of them, yeah, they were, okay, they were $12.99 each for Ashley shirts. This one's Say Ferris um, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And then this one is Central Park from Friends. And I love that. And Ashley's a big Friends fan too. And then this is um, Visit Historic Schrute's Farms in Pennsylvania. It's a beet winery, uh, B and B. This is from the office. Um, a lot of you all will recognize that. So those are the three things that Ashley got at Target. And then for me at Target, um, and this is also from the men's department. I showed a couple of weeks um, ago in the uh, grocery haul. I had bought several of these shirts for me and several for Kevin. As a matter of fact, the one I'm wearing right now, you just saw me in it with the, when the camera was towards me. That is one of these shirts. It is the uh, Good, the Goodfellow brand, and these are men's shirts. And this was the only color that I hadn't bought. I wish they had it in like black. They didn't have any black. Um, I would like it in army green. They had a long sleeve one in army green, but it wasn't like this. So I, it was the same brand, but I wish they had like this, this style in army green. Uh, this shirt was $14.99 though. So I got that for me. And then at Target, um, I bought four blouses. Because I try to every one, not at Target, thank you. At Kohl's, <laughs> at Kohl's I bought four blouses um, because every now and then I try to get me some new blouses. Um, these were all on sale. This first one is the only um, one of this brand. It's Lauren Conrad and it was on sale for $11.21. So that's not bad at all. All the other ones are more expensive though, but you can see straight through it. I mean, that looks like a nighty. And I told Ashley, or I showed it to Ashley and Ashley said, I can see straight through that. And I said, yeah, but I'm wearing a black cami under it. I'm actually gonna be wearing a black cam cami under all of these. Now the rest of these were kind of pricey. The, the rest of these were 25, around $25.40. And they're all Dana Buckman. And I don't think I've ever owned any Dana Buckman, but I'll tell you what I like about these. First of all, I like the length of the sleeve. I can't wear cut off sleeves because I have big arms. That does not bother me. I just, I mean, I face facts. I know I'm aware of my my body and I'm just not comfortable in cut off sleeves. So 
I like the sleeves, but I also like it that this is very stretchy material. So it's very comfortable. It kind of, it almost feels like cool on your body. I mean, and it's odd because it's a weightier shirt. It has some weight to it, but it's just, it. the material feels cool, and I just, I love the, the stretchiness of it. Um, so I bought this one, and then I bought this one, and I will probably tuck all of these in. I mean, I know you can wear them like with, with black dress pants or white dress pants or gray. You could wear them untucked with some black flats. I will probably tuck them in though. Um, because if I don't tuck them in, I think I will look heavier. So there's that one. And then here's the back, if you want to see the back. And I just think that's, um, that's nice. And these are all that stretchy material. But now if you do wear cutoff sleeves, they had a lot to choose from with cutoff sleeves as well that you all would really like. And then th I thought this was really pretty. I showed it to Kevin and he was not crazy about it at first. He said, I don't know about that. <laughs> he said, I'll have to see that one on. But then once I put it on, he said, oh no, I like that. And I think it's very pretty. It, uh, it just uh, reminds me of a painting or something. So I got those at Kohl's and then, so then I was at the checkout and I saw this book. They have the books at the checkout. They have like stuffed animals that are $5 that usually go along with the books. And the books are about $5. So they had this one, uh, The Crown's Book of Numbers. And it's really, really cute. But the reason I got this is because I brought these in here to show you. These are Ashley's favorite books. The Day the Crowns Came Home and The Day the Crowns Quit. I think that's the first one. The Day the Crowns Quit was the first. And then this one. And they might have other ones out. I do not know. I ought to look and see if they have um, if uh, they have any other of these books. Because she she's just crazy about them. And so, I saw this one. And they I didn't see any stuffed animals. She said, oh, are there any stuffed crayons? <laughs> um, and I said, no, I don't see anything like that. Uh, because she would have wanted the, the characters to go along with it um but she uh, she's just crazy about these books and this is a nice um hard uh back book so it's it's i think it's meant for like preschoolers and it's they're just really really cute so if you if you have a preschooler and you've never read these books then i would highly recommend checking them out from the library I gave her an ice cream cone, and she eats the bottom of the cone first. She literally eats it from the bottom, because she likes the cone part the best. So she'll eat the cone, and then she'll eat the top. So a couple months ago, I got these headphones. And January. January? Oh, okay. January. A couple months ago. So I love them. They go around um, my neck like this. Kevin bought his. Um, his are black, and I've got the uh, the silver. Um, Kevin loves them for when he's mowing the grass. I love them for when I'm walking around the house. If I have my phone, if I'm playing like a podcast on my phone, and I'm walking around the house or walking out back trying to get my steps, Gardening. I love them, huh? Gardening. Gar yes, I've used them when I've been um, trimming the, the roses outside, pulling weeds. Um, I just love these. I think they're wonderful headphones. So, probably a week and a half ago, they started, I was wearing them, and they just started vibrating. And I mean, it was this hard vibration, and they wouldn't stop. And Kevin said, well, I said, wonder why they'd be doing that. And he said, well, maybe the battery's going dead. And he plugged them in. He brought them in here in the kitchen, and he plugged them in. And they literally, yeah, they, they vibrated for an entire day. Sitting here on the counter, they were uh, vibrating. So, what did you do? I emailed the company, the support company. Sorry. Um, I emailed the support company. It's Impal is what the company name is. It's Impal. And these are the Jaws Here's the... wireless headphones. Um, but I emailed their support number and I just told them um, I ordered these all of Amazon about a few months ago and now they're just vibrating. They're just sitting there vibrating like crazy. 
and so they they asked for the order number for Amazon so I sent them the order number and within like the next day they emailed me back saying we'll just send you a new set and um, a brand new set so within within a week from it happening pretty much week and a half uh, they had emailed me got it back to us and we've got them in and we've got them back now so, so what do we do just throw these away they did not say anything about sending them back so i'm assuming just throw them in the garbage because literally there's nothing i, can do I wonder if that was a complaint that people had that, that that's i have happened. not seen anybody i looked on the internet I wonder what made problem. it happen just maybe a wire shorted just, out or, you, you know, know things just happen see maybe. these are bluetooth headphones for like you can answer phone calls or anything on them. that's why they vibrate Right. Just to answer, like to let you know that you're getting a call or whatever. Right. We'll have to charge them up and repair them with your. Oh, okay. Yeah. And repair, uh, repair these. One of the things I phone. like about them is this magnet, but like. Yeah, I like that back too. In place. And when I first started using them, I thought I'm never going to get used to putting these back in here. And now I've, I am used to it. And they pop right and in. And they pop right in. They're very, very nice. They're very lightweight. You forget that you're wearing them. Uh, so, but I wanted to let you all know about these because I thought that was really nice of the company mm -hmm. to just send me a brand new pair because they're not doing it because I have the YouTube channel or anything like that. They don't know anything about mm -hmm. that. It's just because Kevin contacted them. So I just, I just think that's a top notch company. And it was quick. And yeah, it was very quick. A week and a half and I have yeah. a new pair. Um, yeah, I thought that was really nice. So I haven't had to go without them for too long, but let me tell you, I missed having them because it is a pain having to, you have your phone and you have that a little adapter that you have to stick in there. So that's one little cord. And then you have to have your headphones, which is another cord. And it's just, you have to keep track of all this cord hanging everywhere. And it's just so nice. And they, these aren't that these. expensive. They're, they're less than, I know they're less than $50. So I think I they're like 30 something. I was thinking they were something. like 30 something. Yeah. yeah. So I know for sure they're less than 50. So. Yeah. So if you're interested at all in headphones, uh, then I would check these out because they're yeah, really maybe link or something really good that. yeah i can do that i can put a link uh in the description below i have a couple boxes here that i'm gonna open for you all i know what this is listen it's not a puzzle <laughs> this is cereal this is from jane and let me just put this into perspective for you today is tuesday my vlog went up on Monday. It went up yesterday. I mentioned Alphabet cereal in that vlog that I can't find it anywhere. I've looked, we, Kevin and I were all over in every store like we do every weekend. And uh, I looked all over for Alphabet cereal, could not find it. So, um, Jean, who it's funnily enough, funnily, is that a word? Funnily? No, I don't think so. Funny enough, <laughs> um, she lives in Kentucky, and I won't tell you where in Kentucky, uh, but she lives in Kentucky, and she said, we have Alphabet cereal in our store. And I said, are you sure it's Alphabet's? Because I'm thinking maybe it's a Kroger brand or a Meyer brand or a great value, you know, Walmart brand or something like that. She said, she sent me a picture and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's it. I said, well, I'll keep looking. And she's like, no, I got it for you. I'm going to send it to you. That was yesterday. It's here today. Okay. Um, my goodness. That's the, the box. I love it. <laughs> that was so smart. Oh, and she's got a, a newspaper. Jane, you must be one of the few Americans who still take the newspaper. We, um, we haven't gotten the newspaper in many, many, many years because I, I, um, anytime that I'm curious, she, see she wrote, uh, wrapped it up in newspaper. Um, anytime I'm curious about anything going on, I just look online and they you're only supposed to be able to um, allow to look at so many articles but i know at least in our area i don't know if it's this way in every area if you have a library card you can type your your number of your library card in and you can look at the whole paper free honestly i very rarely do that i will just go see i just want to see basically what's on the front page and then the obituaries <laughs> 
because <laughs> I'm just morbid like that. Um, and that's it. Usually there's, there's nothing that, like when we used to get the newspaper, I used to look at like the police reports and I would look at marriages and divorces and I would look at the houses that had sold and stuff like that. And I'm sure I, I would still look at those, but then uh, so much changed about it that I just quit getting it. Like they, um, back when we quit getting it, now they could have changed it back by now, but back when we stopped getting the paper, they quit putting Dear Abby in there, and I loved, Ann Landers, I loved reading Dear Abby. Um, I, that was just something that I enjoyed. So they quit putting that in there. And then there were certain comics that I really liked, like Zips, for example, um, which I haven't seen in years. I don't even know if they make Zips anymore. But there were certain comics that I used to love to read daily, and they quit putting those in there. It's like, well, why would you do that? Those were so good. And I guess, I don't know if newspapers have to pay to put those in there. I don't know how it works. But there was just certain, those were just two things that I can remember right offhand. There were certain, though, key things that I liked, and it's like, they quit doing it, so, you know, why, why even bother taking it anymore? So, we haven't gotten it in years. But these are alphabets. These are post alphabets cereal. Uh, the date is still very good on these. They're good for a long, long time. It says a story in every bowl. I have never in my life had alphabet cereal. I have no idea how long these have been around, but thank you very much, Jean, um, for sending this to me. I appreciate it so much. And for you to go out immediately to the store and get these, I just, um, I think that was so uh, sweet of you. And of course you've got, it's, this is the Spencer Magnet is the name of the paper. Uh, but that's, that's not the name of the town where she lives, so. But of course, you're, we're in Kentucky, so what's gonna be on in the newspaper in Kentucky? A picture of a, of a horse. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Jean, very much. Um, now I have another box, and I have to open this carefully. This was sent from Dr. J in the UK. And Dr. J, I want you to know that uh, Kevin said if you, if your YouTube name is not Dr. J in the UK, you're missing an opportunity. He thinks you should take that name on YouTube because he said it just flows. You know, because he would like to use, you know, Kevin has his doctorate as well. So he would like to be able to say Dr. Dunn or, you know, something cutesy too with his YouTube and it just doesn't work with Dr. Dunn. But Dr. J in the UK, that sounds really good. And so you should totally use that if you're not using it. Now, I know a little, I have an idea of what is in here because Dr. J and I have communicated on uh, Facebook. Um, this is a happy little box. Um, oh, and his notes are on the floor. Hold on. Yeah, this is a wonderful box. Dear Tammy and Kevin, I hope you enjoy these books. They are from two popular children's brands, Mr. Man and Lady Bird, um, but recommended for uh, grown-ups. Yes. Um... Yes, the classic Lady Bird books, I had read a bunch of them on my channel. And I had put them under, like I had a children's book section, and then I had a grown-up, for grown-ups section. And so, I'm wondering now that Dr. J wrote that to me, he's telling me about them. I'm wondering if he, if any of these would be ones that I already have. If he didn't realize that I read them, uh, then he might not realize that I, I own some of these already. That's okay. This is Mr. Greedy Eats Clean to Get Lean. And this is Mr. Happy and the Office Party. And these are for grown-ups. And I swear I've 
read one of these. I swear I've read one of these. Now I'm gonna have to go look. Hold on just a minute. I'm not gonna take anything else out of the box and I'll be right back. Okay, these are my ladybird books and these are my Mr. Men grown-up books. And um, I'm sure Dr. J had more to do with his time than to, um, you know, he works at a very, very prestigious college. And um, so I'm sure that he missed when I read these for my channel. And I totally can understand that. I feel bad that you spent your money on them. Um, I have Little Miss Shy Goes Online Dating. These are hilarious books, by the way. Little Miss Busy Surviving Motherhood. Okay. Mr. Happy and the Office Party. Now I have two. <laughs> um, Mr. Greedy Eats Clean to Get Lean. Yes, I knew. I, I remembered that one for sure. And I thought about the Office Party, but I wasn't too sure. That's why I didn't want to say it. I also have Mr. Grumpy Nell's Fatherhood. And Little Miss Lucky is Getting Married. So, um, I... Dr. J, I'm so sorry that you um, spent your money on these. Uh, that, that's, you know, and then you spent money to uh, mail these. My Ladybird books, um, let me see which Ladybird books you sent me, and then we'll go through my Ladybird books. He also sent me cards. How to make birthday wishes come true. Close your eyes, visualize your wish, and keep it secret. Obviously, a man with good looks and the ability to listen does not exist. <laughs> um, I love this. Rosie's wish is to get fit. She is a member of a fitness club where she has tried CrossFit, spin, and ultra ballet. Her 600 pound annual membership meant that each visit last year cost 200 pounds. <laughs> so she didn't go very often. Gwen has a two, two one in ancient history. Her wish is to write a series of novels about Odisha. Gwen is covered in applesauce and has spent the afternoon clapping because she has a little, I guess I could show you the pictures. I don't know if you'll be able to see these. And then there's one at the bottom. Sarah's wish is to find the one. She knows he is out there somewhere and will search the whole world for him. It is surprising how often that soulmate turns out to not be on the other side of the world, but fairly nearby and reasonably drunk. <laughs> And then he sent me one, sending you the birthday gift of mindfulness. Take a deep breath and focus on the words below. Happy birthday. Now reward yourself with cake and cocktails. Allison has been staring at this beautiful tree for five hours. She was meant to be in the office. Tomorrow she will be fired. In this way, mindfulness will have solved her work-related stress. Mindfulness has taught Leanne to accept things that are rubbish, expensive, and unfair. It has also taught her to accept things like cake. Leanne likes cake. Sophie is concentrating on her breath. It smells of frazzles. <laughs> she says she has light for breakfast, air for lunch, and love for supper. But Sophie has also secretly had some frazzles. <laughs> I love these. These are so cute and they have a picture for each one of those. That is, those are awesome. I love those. I don't know if I held the, the front of them up. I did not have any of the cards. Okay. Oh, here's one. I do not have this one. The Quiet Night Inn. Don't have that. I can tell you right now. The New You. This one, I don't know if I have this one or not. The Lady Bird Book of Red Tape. I don't think I have that one. Yeah, no, I don't have that one. That's good, Red Tape. So there's, I don't have any of those. 
the big night out. I don't think I have that. No. Um, the zombie apocalypse. I do not have that. Definitely not. And the hangover. Um, you sent me, I cannot believe you sent me six Lady Bird, Bird books that I do not have. I did not have any of those. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The ones that I have are the Lady Bird book, A Boxing Day, The Do-Gooder, The Wife, The Dad, the grandparent, the student, the mom, the husband, I should put these in a better order, shouldn't I? The cat, and the dog. <laughs> so thank you, I cannot wait to read these. I'm gonna put these in my bedroom uh, so that I can read these. These, you have to have a particular sense of humor to, to get these, you really do, because it, it's just a, it's a drier sense of humor, you know, the, the British sense of humor, it's just different. It's, uh, but they're, I think they're absolutely hilarious. Um, he wrote, classic Lady Bird books are a bit of a British institution. Between the 1940s and 80s, Lady Bird published hundreds of classically illustrated full-color books, both fiction and non-fiction, aimed at children. Around five years ago, Lady Bird re-established this classic format with a series aimed at nostalgic adults who could once again appreciate the format and illustrations with a new twist of something British humor. I just can't read that word. I hope Anglophiles like yourselves can likewise see the funny side. Oh yes, I can definitely see the funny side of these. When I saw these, we were in Waterstones, I think that was the name of it, in the bookstore in, um, in London. And uh, when I saw these, I told Kevin, I said, I have to have these. I absolutely have to have these. And, and I, at the time, I, I was reading books for the channel. And I said, I have to have these. I'm going to read these for the channel. I'm going to create an adult section. And then, then grandparents, um, uh, grandparents and parents let their kids watch the, 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 me read books they'll know, hey, these aren't for kids, these are for adults. Not that there's anything, you know, graphic or anything like that in here. Like Mr. Happy in the Office Party, I don't, I don't even, um, Mr. Happy was usually a very happy fellow, but this was the morning after the office party and Mr. Happy didn't feel quite so happy. In fact, he felt like elephants were stamping on his brain and like he might be sick. This is the story of how it happened. And so it will go on and it will tell about the office party and it's nothing, it's nothing like dirt, like dirty words or anything like that. It's just adult themed, you know? So it's like um, normally in a children's book, you don't talk about getting drunk and in there you might. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love it, love it, love it. And thank you, Jean, for the cereal. Um, yeah, you all are great. So tonight we brought Gavin to his soccer game and as you can see right in front of us nobody's here yet because we're here a little bit early but this is actually this is the first game we've been to you all will find this funny this is the first game we've been to but this is his last game of the season <laughs> this is the very last game of the season but something has come up every week either well and sometimes i think they they were canceled too some because of the weather so uh they we've had some some cold days we've had some rainy days and so um yeah one reason or another we've just missed it so anyway that's where we are tonight and as you can tell we have perfect weather it's beautiful um it's in like the mid 60s right now clear blue skies and so they'll be getting started here in a few minutes but i'm glad we at least got to come to one game out of the season okay, gavin's finished with... like an egg. oh you got a blow pop 
What else did you get? Gavin got, he played his soccer game and now he got his snack bag. Let's see, hold it, hold it down here. There we go. So he got a blow pop and he got some crackers. What else did you get? I'm sure I buckled like a boy. Papa's, Papa's not perfect at buckle. Oh, you got, look. He got a, he got three snacks in there. I thought you said you got juice. I got that one. Huh? And a squeeze it. Those used to be your daddy's favorite drinks. Yeah, don't open that in here, please. Yeah, you can open that at home. So what, are you gonna eat something? Mm, I'm gonna eat when I get home. So I wanted to show you all. Somebody has been wanting me to try these flapjacked Mighty Muffins for a long, long time. And our Walmart has never had them. I haven't been able to find them. So we finally got them in. And I'm gonna get one of each. They have the chocolate peanut butter, they have peanut butter, and they also have double chocolate. So those are the three we have. Those are the three that I am going to try. This is genius. She's not having to hold the phone up. She actually figured this out for herself to put my phone on her straw. Is that not smart? So she's watching. She's watching her cartoon and not having to hold the phone. Gavin wants to show you his man, how he set them up in the house. Okay, here's the ship. The ship doesn't get in the house because he's a good guy. And here are the bad guys in here. And the boss of this castle is. And here's is his. The boss is in the very top. And the ball, here's the boss's ship. Is the good, good guy ship. And we'll check it out. That's a cool house because it has three levels. And here's the ball. So that, it just black, dude. What kind of men are those? Darth Vader. Darth Vader? Yes. Are they called Star Wars men? Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader. That's the game. Yeah. It's a game I used to play, but I don't play it no more. I still what, have it at home. And when, Look what you're watching on TV. Lego Marvel Black Panther. It's only 20 minutes, so not very long. Well, my aunt sent me a, uh, <laughs> we're getting to him. Uh, my aunt sent me a message on Facebook. She sent me a link to a video. Which I'm glad she did. I'm glad she did too, because we don't watch the news, uh, which basically said that Lexington wasn't going to be recycling paper anymore. And the lady in the article did not mention Winchester, which is where we live. And so Kevin was wondering, our local municipal company, it's called WMU, and we were wondering if they were still gonna recycle paper or not. So Kevin went to their well, website in effective today, just today, mm -hmm. tell them what you read. Uh, they are no longer gonna basically, they're no longer gonna be accepting recycling. At all, no recycling. Right. Because, no so plastic, no paper, the, anything. Anything you put in the blue bin is just gonna go to the, the landfill um, because they, the cost, we don't have in Winchester, we just always took everything in the recycled bins, went into a truck, and was taken to Lexington to be recycled or sorted by the recycling facility in Lexington. We don't have a recycling facility here in Winchester, so they don't have any way of pulling the paper out here. And you know, people are going to throw paper in there, you know, they are. Oh, yeah, of because course. Because it's a habit. And yeah, plus it's they, a habit, you know, yeah. So they, uh, there's no way for them to pull the paper out in Winchester, so they would have to literally truck it to Lexington have to pay the Lexington people to sort the paper out mm -hmm. and pay more. Right. So they've just said, we're not going to do it at all for right now. And um, we're just going to sit it all on. So basically, we have two Herbies. Basically. Yeah. yeah. But we, So we can still put them out at the curb. Yeah. But they're not going to, they're going to go to a landfill. Yeah. So, but see, China changed the rate. I read an article about this not that long ago that China changed. We sent a lot of our recycling stuff to China, mm -hmm. and um, which is hilarious. But um, I, they um, they changed the regulations. They've changed the regulations where they're not accepting as much right. of different types. They've, they've got a, they've limited what they'll accept. Right. So paper, they don't have a good outlet in Lexington to get rid of paper to right now. Right. So uh, so that's why. But they said it should be temporary because um, until they find another avenue. But they didn't we'll say see how, how temporary it's going to be. I yeah. don't know. But they, you can still do volunteer recycling just in case you live in Winchester area or other areas. 
Um, you can still do voluntary recycling. In other words, you sort it out. So if you have your plastic jugs and tin cans and like that, you can take it down there and sort it into the plastic bins and the recycle the aluminum bins and all that stuff yourself. Right. Yeah. We will not. I'm just being honest. Yeah, it's a shame because we fill up a good garbage can full of. Oh, well, yeah. you know what? It's most the paper nowadays. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. We. I mean, we're pretty good at because we don't. I don't use a lot up. of plastic bottles or anything but like that. But anyway, I'm so. just being honest with you. We're not gonna fill. We're not gonna put bins in the car and then go down there and sort it all out. No. I just don't see us doing that, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So it was nice that it was offered curbside. You know. Right. So anyway, you. I think our bill should go down now. Uh, that would be nice if the bill went Because <laughs> you know we were paying for recycling. You all will have to let us know if, because of the regulations in China, if it if recycling has been affected in your area yeah. as well. Not just people in Kentucky, but other states. Because you know this is, it seems like this would affect everybody. Would so. so let us know what's going on in your area too. I want to say thank you to Tom. I won't say your last name because... Some people don't like it when I say their last name on camera, but thank you very much for sending us the Echo Dot. Uh, this came from Amazon. We didn't know what it was. It came to our P.O. box, but it was in an Amazon box from Amazon, so uh, we went ahead and opened it up, and it was the Echo Dot. So um, I really appreciate it, and um, uh, appreciate what you said about enjoying our videos very much. Uh, so this is really cool and uh, yes we appreciate this very very much well I'm gonna end the vlog here for the week uh, Guido has been killing us just you know he uh, will not sleep in no matter what he will not sleep in so even if Kevin and I have the opportunity on a Saturday to sleep in uh, until you know whenever Guido will not sleep past like 6.30 in the morning and <laughs> Kevin's just, Kevin is over it. I mean, we love him very, very, very much, but Guido has this internal clock and we're the type of people that like Ashley, once, if Ashley gets up and she can be up for half an hour, an hour, whatever, and she can go back to bed and have no problem at all going back to sleep. We are not those kinds of people. We, once we're up, we're up. Because once I'm even a little bit awake, my brain is already going on what I need to do that day, what I want to get accomplished, and it's always like a million and one things. And so, uh, it's, it's a bummer, really, when Guido wakes us up um, in the morning. But anyway, Kevin has gone uh, to work now, of course, uh, but when he gets home, he, there's some kind of like, he and Ana have been playing, I hope I say this right, The Division. I think that's the game they've been playing. They'll kill me if I'm wrong. But I think it's The Division and there's some kind of like expansion coming out today. And so Kevin has already told me, um, I just want you to know this expansion's coming out so I'm gonna be playing it. He said, and I'll probably be playing it for five hours in a row tonight. And I said, that's fine, don't mind at all. Um, you, I don't have a problem with it because Kevin does so much for me. You know, we do things for each other. That's, that's what a good marriage is. And Kevin is always there for me when I want to do a review, If when I wanna do anything. He's, you know, he's always there. So, if he wants to play a game for five hours, well, then he can play that game for five hours. And, you know, as long as we have the stuff done that I want to get done too, you know, it's always equal. So, that's what he's going to be doing tonight. So, I thought I would go ahead and say goodbye for the week now so that while he's playing his game, I can actually work on the vlog. And, um... Um, the season finale of Survivor was on last night. We have not watched it yet, and I guess we won't watch it tonight now that I'm thinking about it because he's going to be playing. Um, and he said something like, you have to have eight, he calls it something. It's not a tribe, but you have to have like eight people to play, and so uh, they have this team and uh, eight people, I guess, that they're playing with, and um, 
you might hear Andrew mention sometimes during reviews his friend Joe and Joe all, Joe looks like he's part of the family anyway um, but Kevin and Andrew and Joe play sometimes Andrew's friend Kyle plays um, and Kyle Wow, Kyle's, Kyle's, uh, Andrew's known Kyle since high school. If you watched our really, really old video of us moving into this house, um, they, uh, we moved out of our old house and Kyle was in that because he was helping move. And this, and then I showed him over here moving into this house and he helped us move in here that day. So Kyle's been around for a long time. Uh, but, I don't know if Kyle will be able to play or not because he works nights and so I don't know if he has to work tonight he won't get to play but anyway that's what they're gonna be doing so I figured I would work on this vlog um, because it it takes a little while to 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 do these and uh, it's not a real quick thing so um, that's all that's go oh let me tell you about Ashley uh, because I know you'll ask uh, because last week I was telling you her ear was hurting her so bad that Kevin had to take her to the ER. And um, I was telling you about the, the PA, which so a friend of mine in Australia, she said, what is a PA? And, and she said, we don't have those here. I said, that is a physician's assistant. And it's like, like, it's directly down from a doctor. Like you have the doctor and then you have the physician's assistant. And then I guess next would be the nurse. Um, but, uh, so it surprises me that the physician's assistant did not check Ashley's ears, but I guarantee you, Ashley, from now on, when she goes in, she will say, hey, can you just take a look at my ears while I'm here? Um, Ashley, since she was a baby, was notorious for getting ear infections. So that's just, um, like Guido gets ear infections, Ashley gets ear infections. Um... But, uh, so she's doing better. She, um, she's taken all of her medicine and, uh, she has her voice back. Uh, she, um, as a matter of fact, went to the beauty shop last night and she got her hair dyed, um, colored again, which that's, that's just something that I don't do. That's totally foreign to me is to get your hair colored, um, and Ashley's always asking me, what are you going to do when your hair goes gray? Are you going to color it or not? And I don't know. I really don't know. I've, I've never been that type of woman who, who maintains herself in that way. Not that there's anything wrong with that, with getting a pedicure, manicure. I've never done that. Um, but I've never colored my hair. Or, you know, I've never done things like that. And so that's, that's foreign to me. So... It's, it's fun to see Ashley, though, do it. Ashley's always been, or she's always really been into makeup, and she's good at applying makeup, and she buys all these palettes, and it's like, that's more makeup than you're ever going to be able to use in your lifetime, and, and you're, you know, you're really young. You're never going to be able to go through all this makeup. I just, I'm cheap. I don't like spending the money on the makeup because I know I'm not going to use it. And the manicure and pedicure, I don't know. It, it's like you spend all this money for something that it doesn't last. I don't know. It just, so I don't know that I'll, I don't know. I'm not against coloring my hair. And you all will know if I ever do because there's no way they're going to be able to get this, this color. Um, so if I ever do uh, get it colored, you all will know. But um, anyway, she went, um, she's feeling good enough to where um, uh, she's been working and that's been fine. And like I said, she has her voice back. She, but she got her, she had gotten her hair colored a couple months ago and had some like blonde put in it. And it looked more skunky. It really did. It, it didn't look good because it looked like a skunk. And so then she went again and and she got some of that taken out. But then um, last night when she came home, we didn't even know where she was. And she was gone for hours and hours and hours. And um, when she came home, it was just all dark. And it has a lot of red in it. So it's really dark with a lot of red. And um, so, uh, so all the blonde color is gone from it. But Ashley has never minded 
taking risks and stuff like that with her hair, with makeup and everything. And whereas me is like, I guess I just want to blend in. I want to be, I want to be neutral. I don't want to stand out. Anytime I have ever worn lipstick in my life, I feel like people are staring at me. And I know they're not. I know they're not staring at me because lots of women wear lipstick. But because I never wear lipstick, I just feel like all eyes are pointed on me like I look like some weird <laughs> wearing lipstick and my lips are thin i don't have um i don't have uh big lips or fillers or anything like that and um, so i have thin lips which i think it, it they're not good for lipstick but anyway ashley's Ashley's always taking risks like that, but Ashley looks really good with lipstick on too. Ashley, um, if she when she wears lipstick, it it like finishes off her face. It it makes it look totally complete. Whereas if I wore it, it would be a distraction. Trust me, it would be a total distraction because you'd be like, look at those thin lips. <laughs> so it's best for me that mine just blend in. But so anyway. All that to say, boy, I can talk a long time. I've been talking for like nine minutes. Um, all that to say is that Ashley's feeling better, and we can hope, we can hope that this, um, the laryngitis is gone, and that it doesn't come back, and that, you know, she's okay. But thank you to everyone who commented on last week's video, and, you know, even if you watched it and you were just keeping her in your thoughts, I appreciate it very, very much. So, I'm going to end this now, because I'm sure I could find something else to talk about. Um, did I tell you about Survivor? Oh, yeah, what I was saying about Survivor real quick is we didn't get to watch it last night, and I guess we're not going to get to watch it tonight either because of uh, Kevin playing the division. So, in a couple days, we'll find out who uh, won Survivor. And by the time you all see this, Game of Thrones will be over with. Ah! It's kill. I have predictions. Predictions. And I know so many people were mad about the last episode. Uh, the second to the last. I liked it. I thought it was good. I understand where people are coming from. I understand your frustrations. I get that we wanted to see some people die slowly. I get that totally, but I liked it out of all the episodes this season. The last one was has been my favorite so far because there was just so much stuff going on. And, and they didn't even show a lot of people because a lot of people weren't there. A lot of people weren't, you know, there at the battle. Um... But I still, I could watch it again because it was so good. So, I have my predictions about the final episode. Cannot wait to see it. And like I said, by the time you all watch this, it will have aired and everyone's going to know what happened. Um, so, and I hope you all are watching The Amazing Race. The Amazing Race is one of my very, very favorite competition reality shows. It is fantastic and they travel all over the world and that's the thing um, that makes it so much fun is not only are they doing all these crazy tasks but they're doing it in foreign countries where you know they don't speak the language and everything is foreign to them and it's just so interesting because you get to see them travel and you get to see a piece of of a country that you'll probably never visit in your whole life. So it's just interesting seeing um, the people there and how they live, just a, a little bit of it. So anyway, uh, now I've been talking for 12 minutes, so I'm going to let you go. I hope you all have a great week. All my rose bushes have roses on them now. All of them. They're gorgeous. I'll try to remember to show them to you next week. Bye.